Hey, so now let's talk about good old optimistic Sagittarius. Okay, like I said, I'm a Leo, so I'm a little bit biased <laughs> with the fire signs. And Sagittarius men, I absolutely love. They're just fucking funny. They're funny and they're weird as shit. And they have an offbeat humor and um, like great timing with their humor and even shit that's not even funny. They know how to make funny. So they're great. I love Sagittarius men. Um, yeah, like the thing I noticed about my relationships with Sagittarius is though, it's like unlike the Aries where like we're stuck like glue. Um, it's more free, like you, well, that's not true, because I can be at the hip with a Sagittarius, um, but it's, it's, it's not as, it's more, there's a more distance to it. It's more of a, um, like a surface, I don't want to say surface, but um, they, they're all over the place. They're having fun. They're here, they're there, they're at a party, they're with their friends, they're, they, they need their space. That's what it is. They need their space. So it's not as like buddy, buddy, cling elbows like I am with the Aries. It's more like a free flowing type of best friend thing. Um, what else? Sagittarius women, they're pretty cool because they have a tomboy aspect to them and they're very creative and they're very fabulous and they have their great ideas that they come up with and they're very weird and offbeat too and I love it um they just um yeah they they Sagittarius just walk to the beat of their own drum and they they don't even realize it like it's like a an offbeat innocence. It's like, what are you doing now? Like, you never know what they're doing because they're weirdos. But um, <laughs> they are a lot of fun, Sagittarius. They're ruled by the sign Jupiter. Very expansive. And let's see, what can I say? All right, so a Sagittarius woman, she can be very, like, all-knowing, like Miss Know-It-All and want to impart on you what her knowledge because you're such a child and so sometimes you gotta be patient with that and it's like okay I'm not too <laughs> but and in their mind they're like yes this is what I know I'm going to teach you and I'm like chick sit down <laughs> but um they can act they can have some good advice sometimes too and they can be like uh, a really good partner in helping. And, um, and okay, so Sagittarius are some skeptics. Let me tell you, if I've ever gotten the side eye by sign the most, I get the side eye from Sagittarius. Being a Leo, like I'm gonna incorporate the fact that I'm a Leo is skewed. Um, with our intuitive spiritual nature, we we get a lot of things from signs and we're very psychic. And I'd say that Sagittarius are very spiritual. They're very spiritual and once they've experienced something from themselves, they know it. Whereas with Leo, it's like more intuitive and we, we get a lot of signs that we just know. And so... Sometimes in presenting these things to Sagittarius, they're going to give you the side eye. Like I was doing a reading for, and I mean, I connect with the water sign so well, but um, I was doing a reading in the park and his wife was a Sagittarius and um, he was like, it was flowing so well for him. And she um, was kind of like, she was listening to me, but you know, you know that little side eye they give? And when I pulled the child card, she was having a baby. And so because that was something she could tangibly know for herself, because it was in her belly, that's when she was like, oh, okay, I see where you're coming from. It's like, you know what? 
your vibrational match to all the things I'm saying for a reason. But um, anyway, um, what else about Sagittarius? Like I said, we all know they're fun loving. They have to know things for themselves. There's no amount of if you, if you, like you're not gonna be able to make them see your own intuitiveness. They'll be open to it. They will. They'll hear you, but it's not gonna penetrate them unless they go through it themselves, unless they see it themselves, unless they hear it themselves. And the thing is, that's crazy about it is they're very spiritual. And they see a lot of signs on their own. but And they know it 100% for themselves because they go through it. And let's see. Um, what else about the Sagittarius? Um, the, thing, the thing that I have a battle with with the Sagittarius is... Um, Leos don't like their loyalty being questioned. And Sagittarius are skeptics. So, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and Sagittarius can have a sinister jealousy. Especially the women. Oh my god. Like, their jealousy can be pretty deep. And they're so blunt and they the Sagittarius can get nasty they can get really jealous and they can get really nasty and they can hurt you where it really hurts um they can be very blunt whether it's true or not um what else about the Sagittarius um, they're hard sign to penetrate, like I said, because they gotta know stuff for themselves. So they can be very extremely stubborn. And then where their rage is concerned, where their anger is placed, I find Sagittarius just don't really hold grudges. The way their anger works is they explode and then it's like done. And the explosion is like offbeat a little bit sometimes like like they they are in um at times that are like how can I explain this if you're not expecting because like something's bubbling up in them in the way they understand it and they go off and then they leave and go do whatever creative weird shit they want to do. <laughs> Go have fun. Um, what else about a Sagittarius? Sagittarius can be um, naive to their, like, they can gloss a lot of things over with optimism and can be making a fool of themselves and not realize it and then everyone is seeing all this stuff and they've like disassociated on this optimistic thing train and they know for themselves and um and it's hard to penetrate them with other opinions and so they can accumulate people who talk about them because it's like okay you're too stubborn you're not gonna listen to me and then on top of that, you need all this specific, unique experience for you to understand something. So I'm not penetrating you. And so they can accumulate a lot of haters, people talking about them. Um, what else? But Sagittarius, they're a sign that's going to make you feel good. Um, they're really going to make you feel good. And... I love, I love their bluntness. I mean, at times, because Leo can be sensitive and Sagittarius doesn't get that sometimes. But um, in a lot of cases, I love their bluntness because, like, so many people sugarcoat stuff. 
And I don't like that. And sometimes their bluntness is really funny. They don't even realize how blunt they're being. And um, they could um, have foot and mouth syndrome. Um, I have to hurry up because someone's trying to come into the room. They can have foot and mouth syndrome with their bluntness because their bluntness might not always be accurate, but it can be hurtful, but they don't see it as such. And they don't get how to operate any other way because that's just how they are. They just say how they feel. And they don't always understand how it can hurt someone or affect someone because they understand and value um, this way of communication and this way of interacting. And um, so it's hard to get them to see things from another perspective in that way. And I'm sorry that this is a few minutes short, but people are wanting to come in. Um, and I don't really want to have interruptions. But um, they're fun-loving, they're optimistic, they're blunt, they can be naive, they can put the wool over their eyes because they need their own unique experiences. And um, they can be very stubborn, but they can be very creative and very fun-loving and very innovative and unique and different from any other sign. And they're very spiritual. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye.